Hey everybody, today we're going to show you how to find the secret Sorak Shrine under the Zerko Meza here in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So to get this shrine, you need to have the Yiga Clan armor set. I'll leave a link down in the description below on how to get it if you don't already have it. But if you already have it, you want to head to this exact location here on your screen. There's going to be a bridge right here. And once we start from the bridge, you guys will notice some flames on the other side. Uh, wearing your Yiga Clan armor set, we're going to work our way to this door, which will allow you to get inside. And once we make it through, we're just going to go all the way through this tunnel. And we're going to go speak to the guy that's hanging out in the back. And once you start speaking with him, he's going to give you a quest. And he's going to give you some mighty bananas. And we're going to use those bananas to complete this quest. Go ahead and speak with him. He'll give us five points that we need to go take these bananas. And we'll be able to go ahead and start the quest. So your first location is going to be found just outside the main door. We'll go back to the bridge. And if you jump off directly underneath the bridge here, you guys are going to see some flames. And right here, we'll have a little bowl that we can offer some bananas. So we'll go to our inventory, grab the bananas, offer them. And once you do, you get a little cue that shows that you did it correctly. Now I can move on to location two. The next location we're going to head to is the ping on the northwestern side. You guys can see the exact location here. And once you get over here in this area, you'll see that we have some ladders and some platforms. We're just going to drop down from the platforms and you'll see underneath we have the bowl that we can put the bananas in. So go ahead and put the bananas in this one and we'll move on to our next location. So the next ping we're going to grab is the one on the northeastern side. When you get near this ping, you're going to notice a waterfall on the side of the cliff here. You want to head to that waterfall right where we're standing. And up here where the platforms are, you'll see that we have an entrance at the top of the waterfall. So we'll go ahead and go inside. Instead of jumping in the water, we're just going to hug the right wall. And as you hug that wall, you'll notice we have a little secret room. And in this room, we'll have the spot where we can offer the bananas. So we'll go ahead and do that. And we'll move on to the next location. Now, the next ping we're going to go after is the one on the southeastern side. You guys can see the exact location here on your screen. It'll be in this little circular area. And once you get here, all we're going to do is jump across the rocks and we'll come right over here to the toad and we can offer the bananas and we'll be able to move on to the next location. Now, we only have one more ping that we need to head towards, except you don't want to head toward the actual ping itself. You guys can see the location here, but we want to go just north of the ping at the very bottom of the trench. We're going to start from the bottom because we only need to climb up one set of rocks. So facing the ping on your mini map from the bottom, we're just going to work our way toward the rock. We'll climb the first section, and as soon as you make it to the top, you'll see the entrance to a cave. We're going to go inside of that cave, and as you make your way through the main tunnel, we're going to take a right. And we're going to be able to climb up these rocks here, so we're just going to grab on, climb up to the top, and once you make it up top here, you'll see we have a little secret opening. It's going to have the last frog that we can throw our bananas in, so we'll go ahead and drop those in. Once you do, you'll get your final little cutscene, and we'll be able to head back to where we started. Now, once you've made all the offerings, we're going to return to the bridge that we started on. And you guys can see we can run back over to the door. Make sure you are wearing your full Giga Clan armor set so that you can get inside. And we'll just work our way back down the tunnel. And all we need to do to complete the quest is speak to the Blade Master here. Go ahead and speak with him. And when he finishes up his dialogue, the quest will be complete and the door behind him will be unlocked. So we can just run behind him. Go inside, you'll have some chests in here that you can loot, so you can get some pretty decent weapons. Um, and then you can jump through and the hidden shrine is gonna be behind it. And it's just a robber's blessing, so you don't have to do anything crazy, you just go inside, open up the chest, and run to the end. But this is how to complete it and find the shrine. If you guys have any other questions on how to get this done, and make sure to leave them down in the comment section below, and we'll see you guys in the next video.